Good morning and welcome to another uh, TE Connectivity Tech Talk. Today is May 11th, 2021, and some really bright and hardworking folks here at TE have come together today to bring you this webinar on the topic of engineering commercial drones for new heights. Uh, I'm David Black, your moderator for the next 30 minutes or so. I'll get it started by explaining how you can part in today's event. The easiest way to do so is to ask questions. Uh, we happily welcome all of your questions, and if for some reason they're not answered during the main portion of our content, uh, we will do our best to answer them directly during the Q&A portion towards the end of the webinar. The only thing that you need to do is to type directly into the Ask a Question box at the top right of your uh, viewing console. You should see it there. Look something like that to your screen. Now, please keep in mind if you have any technical difficulties or if something seems off uh, during today's presentation, you can use the uh, chat box to communicate with us, and that'll help us resolve any audio or video issues faster. Next, just a few things. Uh, you'll be happy to know that today's session is being recorded and will become available on te.com slash tech talks, where you can check out more of these awesome webcasts and see how TE Connectivity partners with businesses of any size, especially the small to medium business to help you find, I'm sorry, to help you find uh, the perfect parts and influence your designs with a wealth of industry and product knowledge. Sorry, I thought I was hearing something on my end. Uh, once the webinar is posted, you'll be notified via email. Uh, that doesn't mean you should hop off now. Uh, stay on and meet today's presenters. So first we have Katarina Atalia uh, Santos. Uh, Katarina uh, has been a field application engineer at TE for three years with a background in automotive manufacturing and electrical engineering. She works closely with our distribution partners and key appliance accounts to support a variety of end customer applications ranging from appliance, military, auto, industrial, and medical. Next, we have Chris Lee. Uh, Chris is a product manager of Antenna Solutions for TE's data and devices uh, business unit. He earned a Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering from the University of California, Davis, and he leads the Antenna team and corporate portfolio uh, in the Americas with focus on 5G and IoT business opportunities. Uh, finally, we have Clint Schlosser. Clint is a product manager with TE Connectivity and holds a Bachelor of Science in Electronics Engineering from the Pennsylvania College, as well as from He special in uh, ruggedized rectangular connectors suitable for both aerospace and defense markets. Those are our speakers for today. Now let's take a look at our Okay, so first talk about the uh, explosive and impressive growth in the commercial market. And uh, with an explosion, uh, explosion of innovation comes a lot of new opportunities, challenges, and design requirements. So we'll talk about uh, what those are. And then we'll move on to the products and uh, solutions and the featured products that we offer to address them. And as we wrap it up, we'll talk a little bit about the benefits of partnering with TE Connectivity uh, just before we move into the live Q&A session at the end. Uh, so that's enough out of me. I'm going to turn it over to our presenters. Uh, Katarina, please feel free to take it away. Thank you. All right, thank you, David. So before we jump into market trends and specific products, um, let's take a look at what factors are driving growth in the commercial drones market overall. As social distancing in 2020 and 2021 and the ability to deliver much needed medical supplies safely became more and more critical, uh, government agencies such as the Federal Aviation Administration as well as private people recognized the value of commercial drones and expanded ac access to airspace and also expedited the approval processes needed to integrate them into day-to-day -day processes. Already now, drones are used in a variety of industries. Those include agriculture, delivery, construction, and photography. And in those industry, drones are able to carry and ship packages to homes and businesses, deliver needed medical supplies to hard to reach areas, monitor and inspect large land and construction sites, spray farmers' fields, monitor irrigation systems, and they also capture photographs and videos for large and small events. This steady and impactful technological advance paired with the growing range of applications we see these drones in continues to encourage venture capitalists to invest in this market and 
really, really that together, all of those factors is what's, what's driving the growth, what we're seeing um, that will, you know, kind of take this market and drones to the next level. So with a brief overview of the key market drivers, I will hand it over to Clint. Thanks, Katarina. Slide here. So everybody's familiar with drones, and there's a lot of requirements that go into to making a drone. You know, there's a convergence between automotive, appliance, um, you know, uh, commercial, you know, consumer electronics kind of all come together within drones. So with that comes a lot of different um, considerations for designing and building a drone. So things like reliable functionality, um, while that seems pretty obvious, you know, choosing the right products that meet the, the different vibration and altitudes um, is important. It needs to work all the time, every time. You know, having things fall out of the sky is usually not a good idea. So it needs to be reliable. Just as important, though, is that, you know, it needs to go up in the sky. It needs to be small. Um, you know, having a, a miniaturized connector can, you know, add its own set of challenges. You know, you're not going to have unlimited space to run wires and put connectors everywhere. You know, every ounce and size you increase increases the weight of the drone, which then reduces its ability to perform in a market. Um, I mentioned, you know, kind of the altitude, so the ceiling on that component. This isn't, you know, at sea level. This is going up in the sky and then coming back down. And so having that ingress protection um, is incredibly important. And cycling through, you know, different altitudes, you know, for folks who, will, you know, aren't familiar with that, um, that matters quite a bit because, you know, when you create that sucking action on the connectors, it can pull water into the connector where sometimes even basic IP protection isn't enough. There's the protection and safety, too. You know, some of these things will be running at high voltages, and you need to make sure that the, the people working on them are safe um, and that it's not creating other issues. So, you know, protection and safety is also a consideration when designing for a commercial drone. Um, you know, kind of bringing it all together here, then, you know, durability in that harsh environment. So you can get a reliable, miniaturized, sealed component that's safe, but, you know, how long and how much abuse can that take? You know, these drones can be, you know, thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, they're an investment, so you don't want to be, you know, every time, every hour of downtime costs money. And then throw on top of that, you know, as technology improves, as wireless and, you know, Bluetooth and all the other things that come along with that, um, only increase, you're going to need a lot of sensors. These things are typically autonomous in some way or another, which means onboard processing, high, you know, high bandwidth, that kind of thing. So, you know, you take all these considerations together, it, it matters what you choose, how you choose it, you know, up front, the cost might be low, but there's hidden costs, you know, in the longevity and the future proofing of some of the designs. So these are the things that TE is thinking about and making sure we have solutions for those I'll hand this over to Chris. Thanks, Clint. So TE's value to the drone market is realized through global support and design enablement. So in terms of engineering expertise, TE's an engineering company uh, with over 7,500 engineers across the globe and more than 600 million a year spent on engineering research and development. So for over 75 years, we've partnered with our customers to reduce a highly engineered connectivity and sensing products to make uh, more connected world possible. So TE's application-focused teams with deep product knowledge are combining today's advanced material knowledge with the latest manufacturing technologies to provide both component and system-level design. In addition, our global footprint, um, we're able to offer local support to all our global customers. Uh, today, we serve over 140 countries and have more than 100 manufacturing and engineering centers. However, we don't lose sight uh, to operate with the highest standards of ethics and sustainability. Along with that, our broad part portfolio of products uh, enables design uh, with our rugged and sealed connectors, terminal tubings, a range of different sensors uh, that have proven reliability and quality and use across industries, and as well as our standard and customized antennas covering all current global cellular bands, as well as GPNS, uh, GPS, GNSS and applications that need to send data back and forth on positioning and timing. Uh, in addition to that, we, we're also solving uh, the market global market challenges. So as a global industrial technology leader, TE uh, is a design partner that innovates alongside you. Uh, sharing our expertise gained from extensive cross-industry experience, uh, we understand how connectors, sensors, and other components work together, and we'll use this knowledge to optimize performance and create a more sophisticated uh, commercial drone design 
to drive safety and reliability for current and uh, potential applications for drones. So finding ways to solve customer challenges and maintaining our, our reliability uh, to provide performance in harsh environments, these are just some of the ways to use living up to our purpose and creating a safer and sustainable, productive and connected future. Uh, today's drone designers and customers demand uh, the best products that can address uh, areas of reliability, ceiling, miniaturization, and durability. So here, um, I wanted to share about some of TE's products that we'll be discussing. Uh, so we're, they're, they're all designed with extensive engineering expertise and to provide our customers with high-performing product solutions um, needed to meet the range of connectivity challenges and industry requirements. Uh, many of the products are suitable for our harsh outdoor environments in which uh, commercial drones will operate. So there are a few devices today that have found as many applications in as wide a field of use as drones. So from land surveying to amateur photography, defense surveillance to communications, drones have become an indispensable tool. For all these applications, reliable and lightweight communications are essential. We're already, we already discussed some of the key differentiators at a high level. So coming up, we'll dive into more detail on how these projects are complementary to the drone subsystem ecosystem. Common ones like motor, lighting, communications, interconnect, camera, power, sensing, and computing. Our focus on reliability and durability, our commitment to progress, and the unmatched range of our product portfolio enables companies large and small to turn ideas into technology that can transform how the world works and lives tomorrow. With that, I'd like to hand off to Katarina to further highlight considerations for ceiling and miniaturization. Thank you. So looking at specific product families that meet our customer needs, let's first look at solutions that address the need for ceiling and miniaturized products as well. What you see on your left, that is TE's fully insulated fast down receptacles that offer fully protected terminals and a closed fire crimp and are rated for 105 degrees Celsius. These quick disconnects can terminate solid, fused, and stranded wire ranging from 26 to 10 AWG. Additionally, to improve the manufacturability, the translucent nylon housing CC are color-coded according to wire size. The terminals themselves are made from a tin-plated copper alloy and meet the UL310 specification for quick disconnect terminals, making them a established design choice. Next, I will highlight our DWF architecture to the product family that can help seal and protect your end applications. This is a highly flame retardant dual wall heat tubing that environmentally seals and protects components and interconnects. While its higher three to one or four to one shrink ratio allows for easy connector to cable sealing, its special adhesive is designed to bond to a wide variety of materials. Furthermore, its speed and wall protection thickness increases the mechanical protection and makes it a very reliable solution for drone applications. Lastly, we'll take a look at PE sealed signal double lock connectors. This is a miniaturized connector system that is rated for IP67 level protection against water and dust and is very compact with a 2.5 millimeter center line and a snatched proof latch design. It has landscape polarized terminals and a optional terminal position assurance, also called TPA that further reduces assembly errors and prevents terminal back out and other potential setbacks for our customers. These are just a small range of terminals and splice, heat tubing, and seal connector um, products that we offer. There's a much larger variety. So um, obviously let us know if there's anything similar but different that you'd like to hear more about. So having covered some terminals and splice, heat shrink, and interconnects, that support our customers' needs for ceiling and miniaturized products. I will now pass it on to Chris. Thanks. As consumers across the range of markets become more familiar with drones and push the boundaries of their growing applications, 
Designers will need to respond with evolving solutions that provide can't fail performance for investments that are often flying hundreds of feet in the air. Uh, as regulations for drones increase, users also need to know that they can depend on their signals and power connectivity to keep them on the right flight path. So with our wire to board interconnect, this is exactly what it sounds like. Products made to connect a wire to a printed circuit board, enabling connectivity between circuits and designed to reduce application size while maintaining and managing power using enabling uh, increased performance in harsh conditions. Uh, for example, uh, uh, a drone may have four, four rotors, so you need a two-wire assembly for the on-off. And so one solution for this could be our mini CT connectors. And in the case that you're weight sensitive, uh, FPC connectors could be used as well. So our products are manufactured for flexibility and reliability, and our wire to board connectors are engineered for low profile mating to, to provide secure terminations um, with, with all, many of the products equipped with either a friction lock mechanism or a full lock mechanism. So with our antennas, uh, for, for obvious reasons, it's critical to have the drones maintain high quality transmissions. So our broad range of standard and custom antennas can transmit and receive reliably in a wide variety of frequencies, uh, not limited to 2.4 and 5 gigahertz only, but also cellular bands like 5G, 4G, as well as GNSS and ISM bands. So TE has uh, antenna design and manufacturing locations worldwide support because we know the choice of antenna can be critical to devices' reliability and function. However, choosing the right antenna is just as important as implementing it properly. So ideal placement on a drone will significantly influence performance metrics such as range. So wireless connectivity for outdoor applications uh, presents a wide range of challenges, um, many sourcing um, from interference from signals and the weather, as well as avoiding other obstacles, um, nearby devices, buildings, and more. So in addition, proper EMI shielding uh, with board level shielding helps to ensure the longevity of the drone uh, as well. So drones are complex with many components, so it's important to make sure that the drone doesn't interfere with other components within itself as well as other nearby devices. So with the growing demand for thinner devices and multiple antennas, higher data rates, and increased operating frequencies, modern devices like drones require better solutions for reducing or limiting the effects of electromagnetic interference. Board level shields from TE are stamped one-piece and two-piece metal cages to help isolate board level components to minimize crosstalk, reduce EMI susceptibility, all without impacting the system speed. Custom solutions are also available for tightly designed systems. For drones, weight and heat are two common challenges aluminum board level shielding can address, along with EMI. So aluminum offers five times better heat dissipation while only weighing a third as much as industry standard materials like cold old steel. Uh, proper EMI shielding helps to ensure a longer life for this drone. So next, I'd like to invite uh, Clint to expand on some ways TE is addressing harsh environment needs. Okay. So there's several products that already exist and have been uh, created um, almost purpose built for drones. So the first one I'll talk about is the unmanned power connector. So in these drones, they, they typically are run by battery. Um, that's not to say that they can't also be run by um, gasoline or other fossil fuels. Um, and so, you know, right now there is a, a, a small amount of connectors in the market today that go up to 80 amps, and this is one of them. So obviously the, the higher current you can run, the higher voltages you can run, um, the more efficient your design can be. And so this is a, a connector system that mixes both signal and power to control those rotors, depending on how many you have. Um, and are designed, um, you know, to carry a high current amount. So we have wire-to-wire, wire-to-board, right angle, and vertical. Um, this is a new product that we're, we've launched this year um, specifically for the drone market. And so, you know, this is a good way to get density, you know, not just signal and not just power, but signal and power in the same connection, which allows for, you know, hot swapping um, or other kinds of things you want to do with the drone. So that's a, a really exciting development coming out of, um, you know, our engineering group here at TE. Next one is uh, the 369 series connectors. Um, this one is a, a very small, lightweight signal and power, think five amps and under, um, and data speeds up to five gigabits uh, ethernet through this. Um, this is a connector that meets all the, the standard um, uh, requirements you would see in, a, in an aircraft, um, meaning that it'll be completely acceptable to use in a drone environment. 
Um, you know, this connector actually um, recently got a, a world record for longest flight drone at seven hours. Um, so it's extremely lightweight in use today on many other uh, drone applications. So um, look for this one. You know, it's basically a ready-made solution with a, a mil-spec style contact, and it's also field serviceable. So as failures occur um, in your design, you're able to, you know, easily access, replace, and reuse um, wherever possible, saving cost and, you know, keeping that aircraft up in the air as long as possible. Um, so the connector is no good without the wire, which kind of is the star of the show in a lot of cases. And so TE has, you know, um, a long history with our wire. And depending on the environment you're, you're running in and the performance you're looking for, we basically have a solution for everything. Um, you know, we have some, you know, high abrasion resistant products out there. We have the, the dual wall construction, which allows you to see if there's nicks or cuts um, in the wire, which, you know, helps with troubleshooting and, again, keeping you know, time in the air as high as possible. Uh, high temperature, low temperatures, um, typically not seen in your, your standard, um, you know, ground-based vehicle type uh, applications. And then, of course, the low fire and toxicity, um, which is, will be more important as these things fly over people's homes. Um, so, you know, we're seeing, you know, like I said, a convergence of, you know, automotive, appliance, consumer electronics, you know, kind of all coming together inside a drone. And so, you know, it's not a one-size-fits-all. There's a need for just about everything we've talked about here today from the high end to the low end, um, you know, and we're ready to, you know, assist with that, as it were. So kind of bringing it all together, why, why partner with TE? I think, you know, we talked about all the different connectors we have. We talked about some of the challenges that we've seen. You know, we're working with a lot of manufacturers, so, you know, sometimes we're um, privy to information or kind of challenges um, that we've seen over time, we can help with that. So please come to us, um, you know, with your, your problems and hopefully we can find a solution together. You know, TE has been in business for, you know, a very long time and we intend to be in business for a very long time, you know, so we don't have to worry about, you know, hey, am I going to be able to secure or procure these, you know, components at some point in the future? The answer to that question is emphatically yes, you will be able to get it from us. In addition, we have the engineering expertise on staff, um, fully staffed, you know, all the time. You know, things are very stable within TE. And finally, we're, we're where you are. So I know we have folks from all over the world on this call here, you know, whether it's in Europe or Asia or the Americas or wherever else you may find yourselves, um, we generally have a footprint. You can see we're in 150 countries. You know, we have 78,000 employees and we have over 110 different manufacturing facilities um, so if we don't have a solution, you know, we'll find one and make it for you. So with that, I think we'll hand it over to our webinar host here and we'll kind of run through any questions that, uh, you know, has come up as we've gone through this. Hopefully we can get a good discussion going. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Uh, it does look like we have uh, some questions already being submitted, so let's jump right in. But uh, fee uh, feel free to continue. Uh, submitting questions using that ask a question box. Um, we'll get to as many as possible. So let's start with, uh, let's see, do you offer any uh, heat shrink tubing that can be applied in a temperature sensitive environment and still seals the application? Oh, Terry, do you want to take that? Yeah. that one? Yeah, absolutely. So depending on what the temperature requirements are, especially if you are looking at components that are more sensitive, we do offer heat shrink tubing that is specifically designed for those applications. Um, for example, our version of the product has a full recovery temp of 90 Celsius. So short, hotter bursts of air will shrink that down enough um, to seal and protect without damaging other components. But obviously, we can always review on a case-to-case -case basis. Okay, great. I hope that answers that question. Let's try this one. All right, what is the quality process components in these systems? Clint, maybe? Clint? Uh, yeah, I'll take that one. Um, this is Clint Schlosser. So, you know, really the qualification process can really depend on where it's being, where the where the end item is being used. So, for instance, if you're designing for a drone in the United States, there's, you know, governing bodies that require um, different levels of testing. I think the regulatory environment globally um, is still in, under review and in development. 
Uh, you know, typically what, what occurs and what we see in the qualification is, hey, I need to get a drone that does this, and whether that you know, goes to this altitude or goes this distance, um, there's different requirements to go with that. So we have test labs, um, as mentioned before, with all the different facilities all over the world that can you know, simulate those environments, provide the test data to prove that it works, um, which can assist with some of those government requirements. Um, what I mean by that is, you know, the government may say, hey, we need a test report that proves you can stay in the air for this, this long. Well, we can, we can simulate that um, and help provide that data, um, you know, to essentially certify your drone. Um, and that's a, that's a real value add for anyone making a system in total. You know, not every company can accomplish that. Great point. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. Um, what will be next? How about can TE provide custom connector solutions for drone applications? There you go. That's a good question. Simple enough. Uh, Chris, sure, I can take would you be able one. to take that? Yeah. yeah, sure. Thanks, David. Uh, in general, TE is you know, very happy to provide custom connector solutions. So for this one, you know, a custom connector solution is quite broad, so we need to understand specifically what kind of connector and uh, the, the mechanical and environmental requirements around that. And so we'd be very happy to co-develop and um, co-develop a custom connector solution and look at the possibility of that. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Get time for a little bit more here as we come up uh, the bottom of the hour. Um, what other C? I'm sorry if these are out of order here or anything, but what other sealed connectors do you offer and what are their uh, mounting configurations? I can, I can take that take one. That. You want to take a yeah, category? Right? Yeah. No, you can go ahead. Yeah, so when it comes to sealed connectors, I mean, there, there's hundreds if not thousands of different sealed connectors out there. Uh, and we have every mounting configuration possible, whether you're talking about panel mount with different thicknesses, if you need gasket sealing to the panel, um, you know, basically there, if there's a need for it, it's highly probable we have existing solutions that do that. Um, when it comes to mounting, obviously that, that's customer dependent. There are some industry standards out there. Um, you know, you take some of the mill spec standards that exist today, you know, we kind of be a good starting point, um, you know, just for government regulation type standpoint, that would be a, a good place to start. But there's also special ones that I know exist um, everywhere. And it comes down to kind of what Chris was talking about, where it's really about the requirement gathering, right? So are there custom mounting configurations? Yes. But what are the requirements for your mounting? And that's really where TE's engineering expertise comes to play, um, you know, because you can find that there's some unique mounting required um, within an aircraft. You know, a good example is some of these, you know, electric vehicle takeoff type drones um, where they've got really tight bends and they have a very, very small surface to, to apply to that might be curved or something else. Um, you know, we've done applications like that. Of course, these are very, very custom, very special, um, but we have the capability of doing it. We're going to go to the next question. I see there's a there's a question on flammability. Can everybody hear me? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I think you yeah. dropped there for a second. I'll, I'll just jump into the flammability one since that that came up as well. Um, you know, there, there are several different types of flammability out there. Um, there's you know, the EN type standards, and then there's UL type standards. Um, you know, depending on the material used, that that's the key. And then wall thickness of those plastics or you know metals that are used in those connectors. Um, and kind of similar to the you know the mounting applications, we have solutions for just about every specific need. go to the next question then. I don't know, Katarina or Chris, if there's any other points you'd like to make? Um, nothing from my end, I think. 
okay. How's that audio now? Can we, uh, can you hear me? Yep, we got you. Yeah. Okay, great. So it looked like, it, it sounded like we just uh, wrapped up that question. Thank you for that. It was having a little technical difficulty there, but we all got reconnected. Um, and yeah, because of that, let's, uh, why don't we uh, close it up for today? Uh, we've run out of time anyway. Uh, but for those questions that we didn't have time to answer, uh, we'll be getting back to you via email. Uh, but that about wraps things up for today's presentation. I'd like to thank our presenters, uh, Clint Schlosser, uh, Chris Lee, and uh, Katarina Atalaya Santos. I said it wrong in the beginning. I apologize. You did an excellent job. And uh, to the audience for stopping by and participating in our I'd also like to thank everyone uh, behind the scenes that makes these Tech Talks possible. So, again, please head on over to te.com slash tech and access dozens of other webinars just like this. So thank you so much and have a great day.